Hi, today we are solving the token puzzle and we'll learn a bit about safe math. So as you can see we start with 20 tokens and the contract itself has the balances mapping so uh, it also has the balance of function so uh, when we look for our own address uh, it will probably return 20 like in the description. We have the total supply a public unit so uh, uh, we'll be able to see how many tokens are there. And you can see that it was specified uh, during the smart contract deployment as uh, it exists in constructor. And uh, it was assigned to the balance of message sender. So in this case, the deployer of the smart contract. So not us. Uh, one last thing is the uh, transfer function where we specify to and value. So how many. Uh, tokens you want to send to somebody it's not uh, and not like uh, it, uh, currency not either it's just a uh, unit value and uh, we see that there are some math operations in an older solidity contract uh, where it was highly recommended to use safe math to avoid uh, problems like underflow and overflow so the things that might help what is an odometer it's uh, basically trying to make us think about uh, overflowing and underflowing. So you can see that the balances of message sender should return 20. So if it returns 20 and we try to take 21 from 20, it will underflow. So it will, uh, it will be the, the maximum value of unit. So it's uh, unsigned integer 256 minus one. And down below, as you can see, uh, we add some tokens to the specified address. So uh, we want to be sure that we uh, don't uh, add some tokens again to our address because then again it will overflow. Because to maximum unit value minus one, we'll add like 21. So we'll be at like uh, 20 or something instead of the huge number. So uh, you will see that in the practical part, with which uh, starts now. Right. Okay. So first, let's check if the total supply is uh, right. If we can steal any tokens, that's right. There's a lot of them, so we can uh, do next the next step. Uh, let's check our balance. If we got twenty tokens. Yes, that's also right. So now we can call the transfer function. Uh, as Jacob mentioned, we want to uh, go underflow, so we'll choose another address for that. Also, specify more than 20 tokens to make the underflow. So, for example, 21. Yes, that's right. We can call that. Okay, and let's check our balance again to see if anything changes. Yes, that's right. So now we have a big number, so we are overflowing. Uh, so everything should be fine. Now we can submit instance and check if everything is right. Awesome. If you want more, follow, like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you soon in the next video.